Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. You know, there's something you're doing that's pissing me off. <laughs> yeah, good. I finally <laughs> realized it. <laughs> Today on the show, things you do every day that annoys the crap out of other people. Next, men are so smart. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart. I'm Lou Gallagher. Corvette Ronnie. Nice to be with you on the, the for today's show. And we found a list that we've compiled of things people do every day that really piss off other people. Everyone ha out there has at least one bad habit or two. But for many of us, they're not quite as obvious as, say, sneaking the occasional cigarette or maybe peppering your language with some freaking curse words uh, more than polite company dictates. In fact, with the exception of a precious few, virtually everyone has a laundry list of seemingly inconsequential yet untimely, highly annoying habits that are so deeply ingrained they forget that they're even doing them. We had to whittle this list down. Yeah. There were was, so many. Yeah, there was a bunch. There's so many. All right. Yep. Right at the top, Ron. Humble bragging. Okay, I know what this is. Yeah, humble mm. bragging. We all have days when we're eager to share a personal victory, but don't know how to bring it up without sounding like we're kind of patting ourselves on the back. Unless you do it on Facebook. <laughs> Stop it. Yes. Yeah, that's where it's most common. Unfortunately, in many cases, what comes out is worse than humble brag or backdoor brag. Uh, a way of boasting without outright saying that you're proud. You got a for instance? For instance, okay. I had to hire a housekeeper because my new house is just too big. Oh, I can't take care of it alone. Uh, I wish you had that problem, huh? Yeah, I really wish I had that problem. This is kind of more in the big cities. Uh, not standing to one side on an escalator. Oh, boy. Despite what many seem to think. There are rules for using an escalator. For instance, unless you really want to annoy other people, move to the right when you're standing still and stick to the left side if you're walking up or down. Okay? Hmm. Kind of like driving. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this next one. Boy, I get this a lot at work. Not holding the door for the person behind you. That is rude. So, at my place of work, because it's a secure facility, you have to key your way in. Okay. And we have backpacks and other stuff that we carry with us to work every day. And so, to have your backpack or your bag, some people just carry a duffel bag, and then to key your way into the door, it's not convenient. I see somebody five steps in front of me, get to the door, key their way in, and they walk in fast and don't hold it for you. It's like, okay, seriously. Is it is it security? <sighs> Do you have to use a certain key card or what? It, it's just a key. It's oh. a key and they... It's not know. for security reasons that no. they're doing that? The door is locked for security reasons yeah. because we have uh, an armory in there with a lot of weapons. But I mean, you know what? This holds true all over. I went to a luncheon, a retiree's luncheon, mm -hmm. on Thursday. Same thing. And they're big, heavy glass doors. There's a line of people going in, and everybody's holding the door, except for the guy in front of me. Naturally. <laughs> Let's it close. I go, okay, whatever. So, yeah, do that. Just hold the door. Next up on our list of things you do every do day that annoy the crap out of people... Singing along to a song like you're trying to win the Grammy. <laughs> <laughs> I have this saying. Uh, when people start singing a song, I go, hey, you know why Ray Charles originally recorded that song? So you wouldn't have to. Right. <laughs> yes. We all sing along to songs sometimes, <laughs> regardless of our actual proficiency. However, the one thing more annoying than listening to someone's off-key rendition of Don't Stop Believing" is listening to them try to deliver an American Idol-worthy performance when the rest of you are just goofing around. That's why I don't do karaoke. Yeah, it's, it all starts to sound like William Hung. Yeah, when, all of it. <laughs> yeah, she, she bang. Remember that? Yeah, I do, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this next one. 
This is one of my, oh my God. Pet peeve, Ronnie? This is my pet peeve. Okay. My next dog, by the way, is going to yeah. name me Peeve. Peeve, and yeah. then you call him. Then I'll, then I'll have a pet peeve, yeah, okay. a real pet peeve. Got it. Not returning your shopping cart. How many times do you go to any place, Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, and in the best parking place, yeah. there's a shopping cart? Right. Right in the middle. Yep. And your wife has to get out and get it because you're not. Yeah. 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 I'm driving. Oh, come on. People. They put them in the planter boxes. Right. You yep. know, and, and I've seen it where it's in the planter box, which is about three feet away from the car return area. Right. Yes. You couldn't have gone the extra three feet where you're that exhausted. Typically, when I'm going into a store, I just take a shopping cart in with me that's mm -hmm. in the uh, parking lot already. Mm -hmm. But and then as we come out, and if my wife's with me, it's very convenient because she'll take the, the cart to the little uh, return, yeah, and I drive around and pick her up. Yeah, see that's team. So yeah, it's a piece of cake. You got it. Push your cart back. Easy peasy. Yeah, come on. Next up, talking ad nauseum about how busy you are. I know somebody just like this, and here's my feeling on this: if you're trying to tell me how busy you are. It's because you're not busy enough. I'm serious about this. Well, I'll tell you, I had a meeting and today at 10 o'clock and it was grueling. And I know, oh, really? A meeting was grueling? Right. Okay. It's you awful. know what? We got guys that are out working in 100 degree temperatures and you're talking about that. No matter what your job, your family situation, or your list of hobbies, chances are you consider yourself a pretty busy person. If you're constantly talking about how busy you are, however, it comes across as the most annoying kind of humble brag. Can you hear me, people? Don't. Stop believing. Uh, boy, this next one. Oh, my God. Happens every day. What is it, Ron? <laughs> Looking at your phone when you're talking to somebody. Yeah. Uh, even in the throes of an engrossing conversation, the appeal of a phone sometimes simply proves to be too much. Case in point. Uh, unfortunately, this often leads to one of the more egregiously annoying habits out, out there, talking to someone who's more interested in what's going on on their phone. Uh, it just, and you see it all the time. You can't go into a restaurant and see more than one or two tables with people talking to each other. And then the rest. <laughs> Parking too close to the, I'm sorry, was it my turn? <laughs> Not yet. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll give you this. Oh, now, okay, tell yeah. me that. Uh, so yeah, restaurants, people, everybody's looking at their phone. Nobody's looking at each other. Put your phone down. Oh, I couldn't talk, agree more. Talk to a person. We talked about this on a previous show when yeah. I go out to dinner. My wife loves to be on her phone. She really does. And I make her put it over by the napkin dispenser. Oh. You know, uh, put it down. Unless you want to take a picture of me or have a, the waiter take a picture of us, whatever. Right. Hey, put your phone down. We're here to talk and have dinner. Parking too close to the line in a parking lot. We've all been there. Yep. You're in a hurry to get into the store before it closes and you wind up parking your car a little too close to the line in the parking lot or worse yet, over it. Unfortunately, when you do this, you might be the one who pays the price in dings or scratches on your precious ride and in this world today. Back when we grew up, it would never happen. No. But in the world today, if for some reason you park on that line, there's a chance your car is going to get keyed. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and if you're the person that does that keying... Look, you need to get over yourself and also remember you're being watched by a camera. Right. There okay. is no place out in America where you can go and be 100% off camera. Uh-uh. Yep. No chance. <laughs> okay. This one, I see at my own house occasionally. Finishing a food item and putting the container back in the fridge. Oh, yeah, the milk. The milk. Come on. Whatever it is. Uh, and I'll tell you. One of the people in this household has come up with a devious plan to get around this. Uh, whether it's forgetful habit or just a lazy one, we've all been guilty of putting an empty container back in the fridge after you've taken the last bite or sip, uh, setting someone else up for the disappointment down the line. Yeah. 
So in this household, I'll sometimes see iced tea with half an ounce in the bottom. So right. pour all of it like, I don't want to finish it because then I'd have to throw this away. Or make some more. Or make some more. So I'm just going to put mm -hmm. this much back in the fridge. Mm -hmm. And you pour it and it's literally, it's one cap full of liquid. Right. And then, yeah. So you know who you are out there. Oh, Ronnie. <laughs> Shots fired across throwing, the bow. Throwing down the gauntlet. Talking at the movies. Oh. People. People. How much does it cost to go to the movies? Think about that. Yeah. And think to yourself, these other people have all paid the same price. We all get surprised and scared at the movies from time to time. Movie makers make that so. That said, we all know better than to scream, go, go in there! <laughs> but they're going to. You know they're going to. You know, don't go into that, don't go into the woodshed. Why would you go into the woodshed? Why would anybody go into and a woodshed? And why would you scream it? Yeah, nothing good happens in woodsheds. No, they don't. Not even for wood. No, I know. No. Wood, and the wood ends up in a bad place. Yeah. Uh, now, this one, this one annoys me. This is one of those things that could annoy people because it definitely annoys me. Mm -hmm. Going to an, an express checkout lane with less, I, I'm sorry, with more than 10 items. Oh, yeah. You got like 15 items. Uh, sorry, that's that line mm -hmm. over there. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, but these, I'm buying four of these. They're all right. the same item. Right. Yeah. Count them. Math is hard. <laughs> Math is hard, but trust me, you have more than 10 items. Uh, you know, I mean, who do you think you are? Oh, those, again, those rules don't apply to me. Right. I'm special. That's for everybody else. I'm special. Not for me. Yeah. I love women who wear too much perfume. Eesh. You hear them when their car is, I mean, you smell them when their car is like three blocks away. When it's in the parking lot. It's not always easy to know exactly what the right amount of cologne or perfume is, especially once you're used to the smell of your signature fragrance. However, if you're putting on more than a spritz or two, especially if you're going to be in close quarters with others, for instance, at work, you're probably annoying the crap out of somebody. It's hard to know how much is too little. But it's not hard to know how much is too much. No. <laughs> yeah, and for the record, the way that that's supposed to be done is you spray a spritz into the air and you walk through it. And that's enough. Okay? Should Let be. it just settle down on you and then you're done. That's enough. One squirt. Yep. All right, this one. We've been guilty of this. And we're going to be guilty of it again very shortly. I'm oh, no. I'm afraid. RSVPing at the last minute. Uh-huh. Uh, RSVP by dates are there for a reason. If you're leaving your RSVP until the last minute or not RSVPing at all, you're definitely holding up the hosts and possibly guaranteeing yourself on a spot at next year's party. You did it to yourself. Yeah. You know, uh, you know and we sometimes, you know, we don't answer right away and the thing gets put up on the refrigerator and then I go, oh, we're going there on that day. I'm like, eh, we haven't done our RSVP yet. Mm -hmm. And, hey, people have to plan out how much food they're going to buy. Exactly. And if I'm going to be there, they have to buy, like, for one and a half times, you know, one person. Yeah. In fact, when you respond, it's uh, uh, one plus two, I think. <laughs> one, my, plus, my plus one and a half. Yeah, one and a half. Okay, <laughs> gotcha. Next up, leaving the toilet seat up, unless you think it's hilarious. <laughs> and I do. <laughs> to, have, <laughs> to have someone <clears throat> fall into the toilet water. <laughs> you know what? It's time to start putting the toilet seat down. If we have to put it down for women when we get done, right. why can't they put it up when they get done? Well, because when it's when it's up, they could fall in the water. That's why. But they just came from the bathroom. Right. It's very likely. Men have to go to the bathroom more often than women oh, anyway. Oh, I think women would disagree with you there, Ronnie. <laughs> Send your letters. Okay. All right, next. All right. Stopping short while walking. Oh, especially in the store. Oh, God. Uh, we've all had that moment of realization while walking where we remember something we needed to do, and it stops us dead in our tracks. Unfortunately, it's always pretty annoying for the person behind you who's forced to suddenly navigate around you or risk bumping straight into you. Mm -hmm. Get your taillights fixed. Yeah. Last night, 
we went and saw Foreigner at a local casino. And after the concert ended, we were inside the casino, which had about 20,000 people more than it should have had inside. Mm -hmm. And so you're constantly turning sideways yep. and trying to get around people. Mm -hmm. And uh, my buddy, we went with another couple. And this woman is turning around walking and she got shoulder checked by my buddy oh good and like come on seriously I look straight ahead there's way more people in here than there should be pay attention where you're walking and it was she apologized which good on her but i think uh and my my buddy was embarrassed because he shoulder checked her pretty hard but you assume that people are going to do the right thing and try to avoid you as, you know, if, if you're holding a straight line and they're holding a straight line, but then suddenly they veer yeah. into you. Eh, sorry. This one. This. Nothing is as vulgar. Picking food out of your teeth in front of others. Now. Maybe picking your nose. That's fine. <laughs> but picking your teeth. The corn kernel stuck in your teeth from earlier this evening, picking that out. The only thing more annoying is watching. And I had a very similar incident just the other day. At work, we have a bowl that has candy in it for our customers. Ooh, where do you keep that? Right on the counter. All right. You can't miss it. I'll be Tootsie terrible. Rolls, Dots, Tootsie Pops. We got it all. We've been known to have that. I had this guy come in the other day, and he grabbed a Tootsie Roll, a little mini one. It was probably only about that big. And he put it in his mouth, and all I could hear was that thing rattling inside his mouth. And I'm telling you, I almost had to leave the room and go throw up. I don't want to hear that. Okay? I don't want to hear you eating crunchy stuff. It's disgusting. Well... Thankfully, this one goes right along with that. Great. This is sniffing loudly instead of blowing your nose. Now, I will tell you, I'm guilty of this. Oh, boy. Because I'm just lazy enough that I don't want to get up and go get a, a, a Kleenex. Mm -hmm. Instead of just, especially if I have a, just a little cold or it's allergy season, I'm real bad when the first hit of pollen blows up. I just get a little sniffles. And so I will, instead of getting Kleenex, I do, I sniff. Um, and this says, uh, while loudly honking into a tissue isn't exactly cute, nonstop sniffing is infinitely more irritating to those people around you. Yeah, <laughs> okay. no doubt. All right, I'll stop that. Typing in all caps. <laughs> Why are you yelling? <laughs> <laughs> there are worse things in the world. Trust me, starvation, uh, homelessness. Typing in caps is not annoying. I don't recommend it, and I certainly don't do it. But really, people, if you're going to bitch and moan about that, you really need to get a hobby. Yeah. Next. Next. Oh, this is, I am, I'm annoyed no end by this one. Okay. Biking without obeying traffic signals. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now... I believe they just passed a law not too terrible long ago that bicyclists do not have to stop at stop signs. So, I mean, you have to be prudent. But, you know, on your bicycle, you're going eight miles an hour probably. And if there's no traffic, you don't have to stop at a stop sign. But I'll tell you what, everything else, bicyclists should be riding on the right-hand side of the road. Uh, they should be letting drivers aware of when they plan to go straight at a, you know, at least make eye contact with the car next to you. You're going to go straight. You're going to make a right. They should not be drinking a martini. <laughs> no. Those are hard to ride with. You don't, well, you don't want to spill any. Right. That's, That's my point. It's, that glass is very difficult to maneuver a bike <laughs> with, you know. Uh, and again, this says if you're on a bike, you can kind of fudge the rules a bit when it comes to traffic signals. Not really. Uh, you can't choose to function as a pedestrian uh, or a car, depending on which is more convenient. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the quickest way to becoming a traffic-causing, potentially 
injury prone mess. Which goes along with texting while walking, Ronnie. Oh boy. Texts sometimes come in when you're on the sidewalk. Of course they do. Yep. Does it annoy your fellow pedestrians when you keep bumping into them because you refuse to look up from your phone? Definitely. Also, yes. <laughs> Definitely, yes. All right, let's do one more. All right. Uh, oh, boy. I know somebody. This I, I could put this person's name right here, but don't want to throw them under the bus just yet. Somehow making every conversation about you. Really? Yeah. So-and-so? Uh, everyone wants to talk about themselves. It's just human nature. That said, if you find yourself talking about your personal life when you went over to a friend's house to console them right. about a breakup or a death in their family, you're definitely guilty of an annoying habit that you should break. Couldn't agree more. It's not all about you. No. And you know when you learn the most stuff? When you're listening? Yeah. Now, you, on the... You know what? You know what Judge Judy says? Oh, here we go. It's our weekly Judge Judy update. That's why God gave you two ears and one mouth. Yep. So you can listen twice as much as you talk. I... What? Uh, are you done? Okay. All right. That'll wrap up our episode today of things that you're doing that really piss people off. <laughs> Are there some that we missed? Probably we had to eliminate yeah. a few for time. We probably could have gone all day with you. But you know what? That We'll leave it up to you. Yeah, put it in the comments. Please. Uh, they're below. And um, uh, in addition, you'll find our website, our email addresses, anything that you could possibly want to find. Also, our link to treasuretracer.com slash community. Uh, when you go there, you'll find our page in news and entertainment, and it has uh, several of our videos, and you can comment there as well, Ronnie. Perfect. All right. So look, if you do any of these things, knock it off. Yep, stop. We're all fed up with it, especially that last one. I'm glad we ended on that one. Not everything is about you. Right. Now, on the other hand, if we practiced that, Ronnie, we wouldn't have much of a show. <laughs> really wouldn't be. <laughs> we, <laughs> that would be the worst show ever. How are you? <laughs> Uh, or not me. It's not about me. It's yeah. about you. <laughs> how, how are you? Oh, That's no, it's not about me. It's yeah. not about me. All right. Uh, I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. Blah, 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 blah. Men uh, are so smart. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. See you. You want to get on my back? <laughs> Can you get any closer? Yeah. You're kind of invading my personal space. Stop. This is awkward. I just met you. 45 years ago. It seems like... Only 45 minutes. It, yeah, no, underwater. it seems like 40 hot underwater. Water. Okay, <laughs> under hot water. All right, I agree with you.